cheating and using a uh, pre-made shell. Oops. You want the you want your shell to sit at room temperature for a little while, soften up. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit right here in the in the shell before I try pressing it all in. Yeah, it's a little brittle right now. I'm gonna let it warm up a little bit. Yeah, it's got more to room temperature. So while I'm while while that's sitting, what I'm all right. So for this. Now, normally I eyeball this kind of thing, but for just uh, for shits and giggles here, we're gonna go ahead and measure. So, there's the one. And two. So that should be enough for that. And then one little handful here. And then a sprinkly dashy dash over here. Oh, yeah, the good stuff. Okay. Now we'll give this a shaky shake. What I'm doing here is coating the apples before they uh, have a chance to turn brown. I have a lot of apples here. Should make a nice tall pie. Sure. Okay. All right. So we got flour, we got sugar, and some cinnamon coating these apples. And it's all rough. Okay. Doesn't need to be perfect. Okay. All right. Let those sit. Let me wash my hands real quick. Okay. Alrighty then. Okay, so that's two cups, right? Let's put some sugar in there. Mm -hmm. Sticks of butter here, and I'm gonna go ahead and chop this into small pieces. And it's gonna speed up my grinding process here. firm butter here because you don't want to if it's too soft then you're just going to end up making a big gooey mess mm -hmm. so we want pieces of butter so that we can create crumbles okay we want crumbles here
show. Let's make some crumbles. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is break the pieces of butter apart. Okay. Now that we've coated. And now I'm squeezing and squishing. And what we want to do is grind this all in. It takes a little bit of work, I must say. Okay, so you got to be patient with it. Hands of work out here. Oh, yeah. See how it's starting to become chunky? Mm -hmm. some little pieces of butter, you know. But yeah, see basically I'm grinding the, the sugar and the flour into the butter to make it kind of mealy. And like I said, this is a messy job, you know. This is, this is probably, well, other than doing all the apples. Well, yeah, this is probably the the most work you got here, but it's awfully good. I like a nice Dutch apple, Dutch, you know, Dutch topping, oh. crumb topping. I don't like the, the crust, double crust, myself, unless it's like a cherry pie. Cherry pie, that, oh yeah, no, now you're talking double crust. But for an apple, I, I like the I like the, the crumb Dutch on top, crumb. yeah, yeah. And notice I'm not putting any cinnamon in it. Okay. Right. Some people will put cinnamon, you know, in the in the crumb topping as well. I think that's a little overkill myself. I like to have the the crumb be just your straight uh, buttery vanilla, you know, simple right. rich flavor, you know. And then exactly. and then the cinnamon be all about the apples. You know? Right. But that's just, you know, like I said, my preference. Personal choice basically. Absolutely. 100%. All right, let me wash again. Okay, Come back to this. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Okay. See how that just fit right in now. Now we got this to deal with. So it's nice and soft, so just basically reform it. Mm -hmm. It's pliable. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's amazing how much uh, humidity is in the air. Okay, and here we be. Okay, so I'm all pressed in. Now, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. Happenly. Yeah, wait till it starts baking. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when they were saying it's like an apple pie, that, that smell that fills the house nicely. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Heck yeah. <laughs> it's nothing but delicious goodness. Oh, definitely. Okay, so now this looks like it's like too much, but it's, it's gonna be so down. it's gonna bake down, yeah. Yeah. They do. So but what I try to do is pack it, so to speak. Mm. You know, because okay, knowing it's gonna break down, I might as well get the shape that I want it to be in and from the first place. All right. That way I can start that way I can put the topping on, you know. 
That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So I'm trying to get this down a little lower. Also, I'm going to just open that up a little bit so you make a little room yeah. for the topping. Okay. Sure. All right. Now... This is the key here. What a lot of people miss about their apple pies is the butter. <laughs> More butter. <laughs> More butter. Okay, so I'm going to take actually another half a stick. Okay. Cut it into pieces again. Not so small. And there we go. What happens here is this butter will melt down and mix with the flour that we put on the uh, apples. And that's how you get that nice body, you know, for the apple pie. You get that nice filling taste without, you know, doing like cornstarch and apple juice and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So this is about as natural as it gets, and good lord, this is this is delicious. It smells good already. Okay. Okay. So there's that. Get this out of the way. And now we're just going to use our topping here. some love, right? Oh, this pie's got some love, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a well-loved pie, let me tell you. And I'll tell you what, everyone that eats this pie is going to feel the love. Yeah. And they're going to love this pie. Mm. I guarantee. Oh, yeah. All right, so, folks, this is ready for the oven. Uh, we're going to bake it a little hot, okay? Um, I'm going to, you know, kick it up about 10 degrees extra than I normally would, um, just to get a little extra color. Um, but basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to bake this until it actually starts bubbling out. That's, that's when I know an apple pie is done. When you got bubbles, you know, when the, when the apple is cooking and turning to liquid, and you have bubbles and liquid coming out, I wait until, you know, I can not only see that, but actually spills out a little bit. That's what I'm shooting for. Um, you know, and like I said, it's probably going to take a good 45, 50 minutes. At, at least, least, I would say probably at least, at least 50 minutes, maybe an hour, probably an hour, you know, 50, well, 50, I would say 50 to 55, you know. Okay. Um, but, uh, so, let's just set this aside for now. Okay, so, with this project, now I'm going to make a, um, I'm going to do a pineapple upside down cake. And I would pretty much call this step here. <laughs> Putting the paper in the bottom of the pan, about the most important step of all. Oh, I feel sick right now. It don't come out real easy, that's for sure. Okay, I went in about an inch. Got my paper. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so there's that. Now, oops, that? 
Okay, so. I'm using salted butter. I normally do because I always forget to add salt. Most of my recipes need salt. So I just cut right through the chase with that. Okay. Can't go wrong on the butter. Almost a full stick here. Let's just call it a full stick. Okay, now brown sugar, brown sugar. Mm -mm -mm. Sprinkler right in. Don't be bashful about it. What's your flavor? <laughs> hey, you're not going to get an argument out of me. No. Okay. All right. There we go. Maybe a little bit more right there. We want to be thorough. So what's going to happen is during the baking process, uh, that butter is going to Obviously melt nice, brown sugar is going to soak right in, and pineapple will sizzle away. Oh, this should be delish. Mm. These are small, so I'm not going to cut them in half. See? A lot of times they're a lot bigger. In which case, you cut them in half and put the rounded part down. Right. Okay. This is the crush. Big difference between the crushed and the tidbits. 
or the chunks. You don't want the tidbits and you don't want the chunks. You want the crushed. And you don't want to cut yourself. <laughs> That's a no-no. This is going to be one meaty cake. I got no problem with that? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. We sift our mix. Give it a little sifty sift. Get rid of all them little chunky lump lumps. Okay. of this. If I put the whole thing in, it's just going to overflow. It'll, it'll make a terrible god-awful mess. It'll never... You know, it's just not enough room in the pan to bake. I mean, this is how much batter you would bake this pan if there was nothing in it already. Right. Okay, so that's basically where we're at. So I'm just going to pour some of this in. Okay. And that's, you know, well, maybe a little bit. Move it around and see what happens here. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, it's a little more. Just a wee little bit. Well, you got to cover that pineapple. Right. 
Yeah, but seriously, if I put all that batter in there, it's, even though it doesn't look like they, that much, that would make a giant difference in that pan. Right. So, anyway. All right, so, that being said, folks, we're going to... We're going to turn the oven on. We're going to cut this video off so that you don't have to hear all the noise. And I'm sure we'll probably come back and show you once they're out of the oven. But uh, we're looking at baking this guy for a while. And I'll time it, of course. And uh, like I said, that pie, whew, that's going to need some time. So... We're going to heat up the oven. It's going to take 10, 15 minutes. So we'll be back in an hour or so. It'll just be a little short blip for you, though. Stay and tuned. if anybody wants to guess how long it takes to bake each thing, put it in the comments. Oh, yeah, definitely. We'll yeah, give you a shout-out on the next video. Let's get a little... Uh, let's, Interaction, man. Well, you get a little, um, you know, banter going, you know? Yeah. Sure. So, okay. So, and then... Uh, we're going to end up enjoying these tomorrow with uh, family, so maybe uh, maybe we'll end up cutting in and doing a quick little addendum to the video on that. Who knows? We'll, we'll see. Whatever the powers that be decide will be. All right, so let's bake and time it. We'll be back. Okay, we're rolling. When you're ready. We'll be rolling. We're rolling, rolling, rolling. All right, folks. Welcome back. Um, we have things that are done. So, first up, I wanted to show you the pie. Oh. Okay. So, this is what I was talking about here with the drippies. Look at that. Okay. Mm. You look at this. Okay. Look at that. See all that? Oh. That's all drippy juice. Oh, that is just nothing but goodness right there. Okay, see how, uh, you know, it kept a lot of its crown. But remember how tall that was when I put that in the oven? I mean, look, I, mm -hmm. had, to take the, I had to take the top shelf out yeah. of the oven in order to get that thing in, the, in there to, to, you know, to fit. So, uh, so anyway, now this needs to just sit. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to put it in the fridge, okay? It's just going to sit overnight and cool and rest. And tomorrow we're going to, oh man, <laughs> oh, I can't wait to enjoy this. <laughs> you and me both. Yeah, I'm sure we'll uh, we'll talk about it again. Oh yeah. All right, so I'm going to put this on the rack. And just for the record, I let that bake for exactly 57 minutes, okay? And... Here we are with the pineapple upside down cake. And this guy baked exactly 37 minutes. Okay, so I baked it 37 minutes. And then I, I pulled it out. I let the pie go. And basically I let it bake for about an hour. So, all right. So now I've let this sit on the rack. Now this has been sitting for a little while. Uh, good 25 minutes. 25 minutes or so and I'm gonna go ahead and pop it out now basically uh, you, you don't want it okay I'm gonna take it out of its pan you don't want to do this when it's fresh out of the oven you want to let it set up for a little bit you want to let everything rest congeal solidify and then pop it out and on top okay so let's just Oh boy. <gasps> Did you hear that? I heard that. Oh my god, that looks perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't wait. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, that is way happening. Oh, man. Oh, that is gorgeous. Look at all that brown sugar yumminess. You got a little extra pineapple in the center. Definitely. Oh, look at that. And it just popped right off of that paper. Oh. All nice. Look at that. Beautiful easy, thing. Easy. Okay. Now, again, this is going to sit on the rack overnight, not go in the fridge. Okay. I'm just going to let it sit at room temperature. 
Okay, I'm going to let it cool a little bit, and then I'm going to I'm going to cover it up. Okay, I'm not going to wrap it with Saran wrap because I don't want the whole thing to get all mushy. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take another one of these parchment sheets. Okay, and I'm basically going to just set it on top in about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. You know, let it get cold, cool. Um, but yeah, that's, that's yeah, because I mean, it's still happen. kind of gelatinous, you want it to solidify, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 you gotcha. want to set up, you know. But now is the perfect time to pop it from the pan while everything's soft, oh, yeah, yet, you know, starting to tighten up. But yeah, I'm I'm very happy with the way that popped right out, and I think that that's just gonna be that looks beautiful. Oh man, talk about yummy! <laughs> mm. Wow, can't wait. You got all kinds of brown sugar underneath, underneath this, too. Oh. You know? I mean, <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's going to be delicious. It sure is. Cheat a little bit right here, I guess. So. That's okay. <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> what about? Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Don't tempt me to lick the freaking parchment paper. I'll tell you. Right. I know. Tomorrow can't come quick enough. <laughs> Dang right. All right. All right. I'm going to put this away. <laughs> yeah, we will dive into that. You know we will. Uh, all right. Out of sight, out of mind. Okay. Well, folks, um, I guess, uh, you know, hopefully we'll get back to this video and tell you how it is. If not, I hope you've enjoyed watching us make these wonderful goodies. Nice apple pie for 4th of July. Nothing more American than a good old apple pie, right? Especially baked from scratch. And that pineapple upside down cake, oh my God, that's going to be so good. All right. Well, hope you folks have a good holiday and we'll see you next time.